friends, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Grace. In today's video, I want to share with you a passion that I have. For several reasons, I have always been fascinated with the 1800s or the 20s and the 30s. I always loved that elegance of the ladies back then. Could you imagine living back then and you know, you invite your friends over and you have your butler bring out your tea cart with your tea and all your goodies? Oh, that's just so she she poo poo but i don't live that lifestyle and i have never been fascinated with antiques i started to think how i can bring that elegance to my lifestyle today and i started to look at what i love one thing that i absolutely love is mackenzie childs i am a big collector of mackenzie childs i have done several videos my authentic collections and i've also done some inspired pieces i was looking at what i love today and i thought i need to merge these two loves that's what this video is i also love tea so Hello, that's three in one. I love tea, I love the elegance, and I love Mackenzie Childs. So in this video, I'm gonna incorporate all of them together. Let's go. I've got a little helper today, came to visit grandma. This is going to be my latest project that I'm working on. I got this beautiful tea card. They're about maybe 50, 50, 60 years old. I'm not too into antiques. It's a beautiful piece. And I do have another one just like it. I got this one to DIY. I love that it has this little handle that flips down. It's not in the way of anything. So you can push the trolley. It works just fine. Under here, it has these that you just um, pull up like that. And it turns it into a beautiful tea table. Isn't that super cute? It's a beautiful piece. We're going to DIY this baby into MC inspired. Lightly sanded. I didn't want to sand too much. Do I make you want to run? Run away with me. Do I really make you feel like you don't need anyone? Do I make you want to run? So it's the next morning. It's raining outside, so I'm going to be doing this inside. It's fully dried. I've decided the two-inch squares, and uh, I haven't done the two-inch squares before, but I figure this is a big piece, and I think that maybe doing the small squares might be a little too much, so doing the big squares might be a little bit easier on the eyes. So I'm going to be putting the tape now uh, horizontally onto the next step. For the sake of saving time for this video, I've already painted the first coat and now I'm letting it dry. And as soon as it's dry, I'm going to apply a second coat and then we're going to begin the process of removing the tape. Okay, so this is it painted and now we're going to go to the next step. We're going to start removing these. And now we're going to be removing these. The way you play with your hair. Now you always I love it. I've got a few touch-ups here. Other than that, we're good to go on to the next step. Do I keep these little jam jars, the little ones that you get when you go out um, for breakfast? I keep them when they're empty and I wash it because I do buy the cans of paint in big, but when I need to do details like this and it's sealed and it's easy and I just shake it, if you want to do that. I want to start up something new. I want to see things I have never seen before. I've done the checkers and I cleaned it up and now I'm going to be doing the gold here. Tired all these city streets. I would go anywhere as long. Where the flap folds, it's going to show this rim. So I don't want to leave it just black. I'm going to give it gold so that when this opens, you'll have the gold all around. But when the user has it closed, you can see the gold this way. I didn't get a kiss. I love you. I love you.
I got some white paint and gold, and now I'm kind of just mixing the two until I get the right color that I like. It doesn't have to be the same. This table will fit four comfortably. I love the way it turned out. I love that I was able to mix the old with the uh, with the new and fun. enjoyed this video and if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing so by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell to be notified when i upload thank you so much for watching have an amazing week and remember you want to reach a point in your life when you say remember when and never i wish i did we'll see you next time